gonna show you how to make hourglass patterns drape neck top, or you could call it cowl neck. The first step in the project is we're going to apply the neck binding here to the neck edge. Fold your neck binding in half and add a few pins. Pin your prepared binding to the back neckline. We're gonna sew at 5 8 inch. Let's set the machine to a small stretch stitch. Okay, we're ready to go. show you when you come up to uh, the shoulder part of the back neckline you don't want to have any tension in there you just want to adjust it and then you're going to sew that like it's a small curve this will get it exactly in position for stitching it to the front to put in a few pins and then I'm going to bring this to the iron and give it a gentle press. Okay, it's all pressed and I'm going to give it a top stitching. I'm using a four millimeter wide by 1.2 millimeter long three step zigzag. After top stitching, I gave it one more press and now I'm ready to go and we're going to sew the shoulder seam. So what you want to do is lay the back shoulder onto the front shoulder and match your notches. I also just like to add a few more pins to secure. And then your facing piece of the front is going to wrap over and sandwich the back between the front shoulder and the facing piece. And then again, just match notches. There's another notch here. And then what you want to do is feel up in here and make sure that the binding is nice and tight against the little V in there, that little V section. And I like to feel so that it's got no extra fabric in there at the 5 8 and then we're gonna go ahead and sew that. You can continue sewing with your stretch stitch, but for the shoulder, I tend to just use a straight stitch. And I'm sewing from the inside shoulder to the outside shoulder. As well, you can base this to make sure everything is lined up. I've done this top so many times. Uh, I can't even count it at this point, so I kinda know how, how it goes, but if it's your first time, then, you can uh, just make sure that everything's properly lined up by basting it. Okay, I completed that shoulder, and now what I'm gonna do is just flip it right side out. So just take that facing and flip it out. So here you have the back neckline, and it's nice and neat, and there's no extra fabric here, okay? So that's one shoulder done. I'm gonna complete the other shoulder offline, and then we'll come back and finish the armholes. Okay, let's take a look at the finished shoulder. See how beautiful that is? The binding is here, and it meets up with the front really nice, and now I'm ready to apply the binding to my arm. Okay, there's two ways to apply the bindings, and I'm gonna show you both ways and you can decide which one is best for you. Before we sew the binding on using the first method, you want to make sure all your seam allowances, including that self-facing, is to the front, okay? So that's not twisted. Because let me show you from the inside why that's really the shoulder important. Shoulder seam from the inside. And here's the self-facing, okay? So that you want that to be lying nice and neatly. And then I always pin it so that it's secure so it doesn't get twisted when I'm sewing the binding. Okay, let's go ahead and sew that binding using the first, first method. would be sewing the binding to the armhole before the side seams are sewn. So what you wanna do is cut your binding, fold it in half, and then also give it a gentle press, and we're gonna pin that in. Sew that armhole binding on.
Okay, that's complete. So I'll go ahead and I will press this and then I can decide if I want to top stitch or not. I probably am going to top stitch so I can match the back neckline, but that's up to you. I, I make this top all the time and I don't use any top stitching. So that's just a preference thing. Okay, the binding is top stitched and the sides are still open. So we're gonna close up those sides now that the binding is complete. Let's sew up the side seam. So match notches at the side and then you wanna match the binding at the very top and you wanna get that perfect. And let's go ahead and sew that. Okay, I'm back at the machine. I'm ready to sew that side seam. What I do is I put the needle in about, oh, I don't know, just a few centimeters in and then I do back stitching first. Pull that needle at the very top, back stitch, and then continue on. The binding is applied using the first method, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to apply the binding using the second method. The one final thing that we're going to do here, though, is we are going to nail this down to the back. So press your side seams to the back, and then you're going to put a little tack right here just to secure that. Now, the second method for applying binding will be closing up the side seam first. Let's prepare the binding by sewing the short ends together. That seam flat. And let's fold it in half and press it. My binding time. is complete. It's marked in quarters. My armhole is marked in quarters. And now I'm going to match those quarters so that I can stretch the binding into the armhole to ease in that armhole. And then we'll sew that. that. Binding is now stretched into the armhole. And remember, when you're matching your quarter points, make sure you match the seam of the binding to the seam of the underarm. Okay, let's sew that binding into the armhole. Let's flip that binding out now and top stitch it. When I'm going over the seams, I make sure I go a little bit slower and just make sure nothing's twisted under there. You always want to feel for things before you sew. Okay, that's done. I'm going to give that a press and I'm going to turn up my hems and then I'm also going to top stitch the hems and I'll show you the final shirt. Okay, I'm sewing the hem up. Uh, it's already pressed and in position. I just turned up one inch. And then what I do is I do the three step zigzag, but all I do is I increase the width and I increase the length. So um, I will go to five millimeters wide and 1.6 millimeters long. And here's the finished top. And it came out so cute. I really love this pattern. I actually got it on Fabric Universe. Uh, they're in Miami, so they're really close to me. So my deliveries come within a couple days. So they have some really cute fabrics. Um, here is the armhole where we eased in the armhole by applying the binding before closing up the side seam. And that's a nice match right there, right? And then over here is where we eased in the armhole by finishing the binding first and then stretching it in. But, um, matching up quarter marks. This is a little bit more work because you have to figure out the exact size of the armhole and how much you need to reduce that binding by. But let's just say that the rule of thumb for doing that is between 
uh, you want to reduce binding by, I don't know, one to two inches. If it's a really, really stretchy fabric, then maybe even a little bit more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed making this pattern with me.